stages. Uh, stage one uh, will just be a, a preliminary uh, introductory statement. Uh, stage two uh, will deal with the parking lot, the land feature here. Uh, stage uh, three uh, will be the marina park here. And uh, stage four uh, will be uh, an information session with the, uh, the tower. Okanagan Lake. The shore is very steep and it goes up like that. Well, this is all sort of bulldozed to be flat. Uh, the land here uh, is uh, roughly about five acres. I think I counted about 116 spots, the SUV, and the trailer is here. And if so, there is no hesitance, there's no waiting at all uh, in line. And uh, the beauty about this plan is that it's so designed that there's no backing. Now anyone who knows how to back a trailer without running into something or doing it three or four times uh, will appreciate this. There is no backing here. You just go continuously in circle using the roundabout until you get your uh, boat and you're out. Uh, you have here uh, one, two, three, four, five launches six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that means that the, uh, the plan, the uh, complex, will accommodate eleven boats being launched simultaneously at any given time. With the pontoons, that, uh, that was a fixed constant. You know. uh, they are fifty feet wide uh, by uh, two hundred plus long and fifteen feet deep. And uh, there is room for three lanes. He just backs in there and, uh, and then goes up and he drives to a parking spot there. And uh, because these are 200 feet, there's probably room for about three, four, five. Uh, they can go on this inside lane. And that inside lane is uh, no parking uh, at all. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a free. You, you, you know, it's, you've got to just leave it wide open. Uh, so, up the ramp, and they can park here. There's a color coding here. Uh, what you see in white, and uh, you know, there's uh, about 12 uh, spots uh, double here. But then, now, this is the ideal for canoes, right here, these. Uh, one to, uh, uh, to 12 feet. 14 uh, to 16, uh, the green will be 18 to 20, and the blue section is anything over 20 feet. With all the, uh, the spaces here, uh, we can accommodate uh, 300 craft. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, this has to be anchored, and uh, uh, there will be a, a metal pipe driven in right down to the ground and in each one of those. And uh, these uh, pontoons, they're massive, have to be anchored as well. And uh, there will be, see there's a hole here, and a hole here. There will be four pipes anchoring uh, the, uh, uh, the pontoons, uh, because in lake water goes up, everything else comes up and down uh, with the level of the, uh, of the, of the lake. Uh, the only thing that is fixed will be the bridges here. Uh, this will be embedded in the, in the base, concrete base. Uh, similarly here. Uh, well, you might say, well, how can, that, how can all this come up and that's solid? Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. Mm -hmm. And, the same. and uh, they want to be assured of security here. And uh, this will give it to them. Uh, this uh, is designed uh, so that it can be operated from the control tower. It's a mega project uh, to be uh, functional 365 days a year. And I just have uh, uh, one bit of a hesitation about icing. And uh, I talked uh, to Lavinan and he said, well, you know, that's no problem. And he cited an example where his company uh, had made it possible in northern, Alabama, northern British Columbia. Uh, to provide 
on that one small lake a channel for boats to go from A to B and what they had done, and I've never heard of this before, maybe you folks have, uh, but what they do, there's a three inch pipe that goes all the way down the length of the lake and it's perforated and they blow air into it and that air churns out the water and it's all bubbling and because it's bubbling it doesn't freeze. Mm -hmm. So they can have the boats going, you know, back and forth. Right. And uh, another comment about this, the whole arrangement, this and this, the, the, the total complex, you know, you have to have income. And uh, I understand that, uh, you know, a spot here in a season for some of these, I, I, I don't know about Kelowna Yacht Club, uh, but I am told in the range of about three to four thousand a season. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when you got three hundred here times that, well, you're near a million dollars. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, the developer will have uh, a huge income, you know, a million dollars per season. And, and these are free. Lavalin is offering this to be free. Uh, okay, now, uh, this is the, the complex. Uh, uh, the, it's four, four levels. Uh, the bottom level uh, is uh, for the boat works. You know, the first uh, first level, uh, which is uh, 60 feet by 90 feet, uh, that's 5,400 square feet, and that's 20 feet high. Uh, uh, so there'll be uh, the pump out uh, facility, uh, there will also be uh, uh, fueling provision where you can gas up. Uh, the second floor, uh, I feel, should be something for the community. Uh, you know, developers from wherever they are, uh, Calgary, uh, Vancouver, Hong Kong, or wherever, the people who are going to put money into it, uh, must, uh, must appreciate the fact that the citizens of the area where this is going to be uh, have uh, given you the privilege of building this in their backyard. And uh, you should respect that. Uh, so the second floor, in my estimation, should be something for the community. And there's always a shortage of space. And uh, they could have a gym. Uh, they could have an auditorium. And uh, maybe the big, and then here again, it's uh, 5,400 square feet. Uh, that could be divided into smaller sections uh, for smaller groups to use. Uh, the next floor up uh, will be the floor uh, for administration, uh, a food store, uh, probably uh, the quarters for the uh, the caretaker and uh, the top floor uh, on this side will be a restaurant on the opposite side will be a yacht club facility uh, the central section will be uh, for the uh, the front part will be the control tower uh, with valence uh, or you know the surveillance cameras uh, loudspeakers you know, I, I, I think that um, we have to satisfy these needs. Uh, they're going to be there and persistent. And so long as you have a need, it's going to be satisfied. So I am keep my fingers crossed and hope that Lavalin doesn't crush the pot tools. <laughs> because we, we need them for this.